This is titled Being Disabled. Being disabled means that there are certain tasks you cannot undertake. Be aware of this, but don't give up, because being disabled is not the end of the world or the end of your life. We must remain a part of society, and it is therefore important that we demonstrate this for all the non-believers out there. But first and foremost, do this for ourselves. Having my disabilities, I'd rather not have them, don't get me wrong. But um, I love coming to Lenin and Cheshire because it gives me confidence. I've changed so much. A lot of people have said that. And basically, um, I've got people around me that generally care and mean something. It gives me stuff that I would never dream of doing, like artwork. Uh, going to like TV studios and stuff like that and I do find like when I become ill like I have a fit or something here they're absolutely brilliant they know what they're doing right Kate how long have you been a volunteer here eight years eight years yeah. how do you find it I love it do you uh, how do you find working with people with dis all different types of disability um, I get a lot of pleasure out of working with the clients. Michael, how long have you had your disability for? Uh, about eight years, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah. yeah? I had a stroke, yeah. Mm. Down I go, yeah. You're getting stronger now, aren't you? I am, yeah, yeah. Good. At first. First, I couldn't. I couldn't move. No. Mm. How's coming to the centre helped you? Very good. How do you, how do you find living with your disability? Do you find there's the right help out there for I you? I do. Yeah, I do. Yeah. yeah do you yeah. get the right support? I do. Yeah, and the and the doctor is very good. Yeah. There's two fit bars on the paper. Um, do you like Spitfires? Yes, I do. I like airplanes. <laughs> Me, my daughter, Mandy, my father, my mother, yeah, on holiday in, in um, Hailing Island. <coughs> Two little boys, one got a bad leg, and his friend taking him for a walk. That is Gordon in the tanks with his mates in Korea or oh, Vietnam, I'm not quite sure. Now everybody here around seems to be isolated, which is not a good thing, not I don't think. They don't sort of mix. Whether it's they're afraid or not, I don't know, but I can't. I love Battersea. Yeah, very much and so. I've been all, went all through the war, um, so and I was 17 in one part, and I walked from Battersea to Southwark Bridge every morning, at 6 o'clock in the morning. You had to get there by 8 o'clock. If you didn't get there at 8 o'clock, you wouldn't get no wages. So we had to do it, and the bombs were on as well, they were dropping, and you couldn't afford to take cover because you'd lose your time for your money, for your work. And we survived, we were happy, we made our lives, and we held the, we held the fault for England, I think. And uh, when I become ill and disabled, and then I went to a day centre, and they said to me, would you like to go on one of the holidays? Where they, and they used to have a, um, uh, the wheelchair dance. Yeah, have you seen that? They used to, the, the uh, elfers used to get up, and all those that were in wheelchairs, they used to go onto the ballroom floor and they used to do a, a little dance around, you know. But the only thing is, they swung you a little bit too much sometimes and your head sort of... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, because they get sort of into it themselves, you know. Yeah. 
fun. But, you know, I always remember those times I had with my friends and that. And were these ones yeah. in Jersey? Jersey that Jersey. one was the Jersey one, yeah. And yeah. the one on the donkey? Yeah, that was a, a Octon. They decided they had the they had a um a don I don't know if it was a donkey race or what. And they're trying to get people to sit. And they said, "Come on, you sit on there." And I said, "I don't know. I might slip off." <laughs> but I just asked him what it was like back, say, like late forties, early fifties, and uh, he said it was totally different to what is that. You could go out, leave your front door open. Uh, uh, basically, um, people did have disabilities then, but if you like how they got treated to how people get treated now, sometimes it's different, but sometimes you hear about how bad it can be, mm. and it can be bad. So, your daughter being in your picture that you're doing, she yeah, um, is quite important then. It is. She's a great big part of my life. And so it's like the rest of my family I'm going to put on there. Right. Debbie, how long have you been a volunteer at the centre and how do you find it? I've been a volunteer for about 18 months and I enjoy every day. Um, how do you find working with people with um, different disabilities and stuff? Well, it was the first time I'd come into an environment like this, and so it took a little while to adjust. I'm Veronica Thomas, and you are? I'm Jane Ellison, I'm the local MP as we're here in Battersea, so this is my constituency. Good. i just like to ask you a few questions. What do you think about the social care at the moment, the state of the social care? Well, I think that... I think that we're facing lots of challenges as a country as we've got more people uh, growing older. So I think one of the big challenges is to try and make sure that more people, um, as they get older, are getting older and staying healthier for longer. And I think more and more um, care is built around trying to look at people as individuals and not thinking there's a one-size-fits-all. I think that's probably one of the ways in which sort of social care has changed in recent years. And we moved to Long Hedge, and that was a day centre there. And there was a home above, and we used to go up and do a little bit of help now and again up there. It was lovely. We thoroughly enjoyed it. I enjoy making the disabled happy, because that's their life. And then, unfortunately, they had to close it down, and we, we moved to a Cheshire home, which is a wonderful place. The boss is great. The every staff, there's no, not at all I could fault any of them. They're all one and they're all kind and I've been there ever since and now I'm 90. So I've done me bit and now I thought, well, I'll take it easy.